For today, we're on COD Warzone, Rebirth Islands, and this time with the RTX 2070. And we'll start it off at 1080p at the Ultra settings. No DLSS, no FSR. Do we have with that? There we go. Alright, first game on, guys. Let's see what we can do. Jumping out, let's go down here. To the team. Alright, landing, give me the gun quickly. Teammate, whoopsie. Count the FPS and let's go. Alright. So far, in the 70s and the 80s, but I am indoors. I'll go outside in a second. Huh. Nobody's in the area. There's like one guy, and he's all the way down here. Nah, behind the rocks. Alright, looking over here. Falling down into the mid 60s. Alright. I mean, it's not great, but it's not too bad either. It's definitely playable. For the aiming, it feels okay. It's not super responsive, but it's not unplayable either. Yeah, I see someone there. Oh, behind me. Okay. Well, found one guy. What a weird lobby. Ah. In the prison. Ooh, somebody's in here. I will fight that. Let's try to. I want to be quiet though, if that's possible. I think I heard a parachute. There we go. That's one kill. Oh, that scared me, man. Okay. Somebody else is in here. It was downstairs, but I don't know where exactly. Hear footsteps, who was that? Nice. I'll take it. Alright, another kill. I've been scanned though. They can see me on the map now. Pretty good, guys. I guess it's decent, right? Oh! No, that's not called for. Cracked him too. Oh, I'm so screwed. I mean, I almost had him, but that's alright. Okay, let's pause it here, guys. Enable DLSS and see how we go. DLSS, quality preset. Let's apply it. And yeah, beforehand, we had like 70 FPS on average, slash 80 FPS, depending on where we are. In those heavier scenes, down into the 60s. In the mid 60s. Alright, now with DLSS. Again, the graphics isn't fantastic. It's definitely far more blurry versus native. But this is a small map, so everything is, I guess, more likely to be up close. And in that case, it doesn't look too bad. Uh, but it's definitely worse than native, keep that in mind. And it's definitely a softer look as well. I don't have a gun, man. I'm gonna die here, though, right? So I should be able to get my stuff back. Yep, looks like it. Looks like it. Give me all. Yep. Cool. No, dude. As if. Okay. Let's go this way. Head down. Nope. Can't go down. Jumping out the window. I am on the move, dude. Alright, now time for FSR 3 with frame gen active. Let's see, here we go. Respawning in 10 seconds. FPS wise, though. So far, in the 150s and the 160s. It's insanely high, but. At the same time, the game won't be as responsive as actually getting 160 FPS. For the graphics, it's looking pretty good. I think better than DLSS, to be honest. It's definitely over sharpened versus the softer look of the DLSS, the 1080p. And it's not as good as native either. Uh, but if I was going to pick which one I like more, I think FSR is better. Now, in the move, it does bug out occasionally as well, I think. It was far more common with the 1060, but on the 2070, it's happening. At times, but honestly, feels or looks a bunch better. Yeah, jumping right here looks pretty bad as well, actually. Not great. Um, I think for me, I would probably not use either, to be honest, especially at 1080p. If you're playing at a higher resolution, then it makes far more sense. But yeah, 1080p, I'll play at native and at a lower preset. 
for the input lag, it feels okay. It feels about like 90 FPS or 80 FPS to be honest. Um, dad, they're, they're gonna see me. Does he know I'm here? <laughs> when I downed him, but he's got self revive, so. So yeah, that's pretty much it for 1080p Ultra. After this, I'm gonna back out and play at the optimal settings, which is a mix of low and medium. No DLSS, no FSR, and we'll see what we can get out of that. And here we are at the optimal settings. There we go. So again, beforehand, at the ultra settings, with no upscaling, we had around 80 FPS on average, with dips down into the mid-60s, and spikes up into the 90s in those easier scenes. It's gonna land here, so far, in the high 60s, indoors in the 120s. Doing much better here. Let's get a gun. And head to the team. They're all the way over here. Yeah, now falling down into the 90s. I might die here. Got that guy, thankfully. Whoa! What is this, man? Get beat up! Oh, he's dead. This guy stole my gun! Okay, someone else is in here, though. Oh, no way I got you too. I'm gonna go see someone, see what's up. There's a bunch of them in here. I'm gonna go ahead and fly in. Hello, why are you running? Why are you running? I broke his armor, that's it? That was so loud. What's this guy doing over here? His friend's in here though, I'm dead I think, I gotta go. Seven kills. Wow. Yeah, for me, this feels far more playable and far more responsive. And again, the graphics look identical pretty much. Looks fantastic. And if you really want to, you can enable DLSS or FSR on top and get more FPS out of it. And, but again, keep in mind that the game will be CPU intensive at those higher frames. So if you got a lower end CPU, uh, you might get bottlenecked. Alright, got my loadout drop. He's behind the crane in the gas. Just on the edge of it, I think. I'm looking for him, though. Oh my god, what are you doing here, dude? Alright, FSR 3. Okay, yeah, at this point, the input delay isn't as good as native. It definitely feels a bit worse. I can feel a slight delay. I think it's still playable, but... For me, I'd rather have... Either DLSS or native. Peek again, and you're gonna get shot. Is that his head? What was that? Yep. What did I say? They gotta be up here, right? Surely. Or they've dropped down. But I'm guessing they're gonna be sitting on this other half. How do I get hit with that? Come on. Oh, we gotta go. We've got to go. I cracked two of them there. I'm gonna push up though. Like we actually gotta push up here. Oh, airstrike though, no. That's it. We came fifth. Okay, that's about it guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys next time. Thanks video. See you guys there.